Hello guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. And as you guys can tell by the title, I'll be showing you guys all the books on my physical TBR. I have my full TBR cart. Hold on. She's a little heavy. You guys cannot see it, but there are definitely over 30 books. Actually, let's count them real quick. There are 36 books. So I'm just going to go over all the books I have, tell you guys what I know about them and what I've heard people say about them and in no particular order. And just so you guys know, most of these books will have videos for them so you guys can see like my thoughts on them while reading them. So make sure you stay tuned for that. But without further ado, I'm just going to get into the video and go through the books. So the first book we're going to talk about is The Queen of Nothing by Holly Black. Now this is the third book in the Folk of the Air series. I have read the first three books and I really like them. I think the first book I gave a four stars and the second book I gave a five stars and it's a really good series. I just like stopped reading it so I just really need to push through and especially like this isn't as long as like the other two books and I love Carded and Jewels. I don't know why I just stopped reading, but it's really good. I love her writing. I love this world. And this is like the first fantasy series that I've read since getting back into reading. So I really need to get onto this. Now, the next book is Rivals, the American Royals 3. So this is the third book in a series. Now, this is a series that I read when I first got into reading and I devoured the first two books. First book, I absolutely loved. And the second book... I like devoured it but I didn't really like it because everything that I wanted to happen did not happen so I hope going into this book like that all gets resolved and there is like a fourth book coming out as well so I know because of that not everything I probably want to get resolved is going to happen in this book but as long as I see some improvement I'll be happy but basically this book is just about if America had a royal family and what that would look like and the lives of the kids. Now the next book I'm going to talk about is Carrie Soto is Back by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I love Taylor Jenkins Reid's books. I've read The Seven Husbands, Daisy Jones and the Six, Malibu Rising, One True Loves and that's it so far so this is the perfect book to go into next and basically it's about a tennis player from what I know who's like really popular and this is just kind of like about her life or whatever and you do meet her in Malibu Rising and from what I remember I don't remember liking her too much I don't think but I'm really excited to learn more about her and I probably will like her at the end of this book but I'm super excited my granny actually read this book and she really liked it so sorry some books just fell only seen like great things about this book so i really want to read it and this is actually on my may tbr so you guys might be seeing this in a video very very soon wink wink and then the next book i have is all the bright places by jennifer naveen um i actually watched the movie to this whenever it came out on netflix didn't even know it was a book at that time but i watched it i really liked it i cried and i heard like obviously the book is better so of course i got it i got it over my spring break and it is like seems really thick but the font and stuff is like really big i feel like i'm going to like tear through this book when i read it but this book is about two characters named finch and violet finch is very fascinated by death while violet lives for the future pretty sure they have to like work on like a school project together and, you know they start to feel very comfortable with each other but i think finch has like a lot of like mental struggles and we kind of see that so i'm really excited to get back into the story again because a lot of time has passed since i've seen the movie so i don't really remember like the details of the story but i know the whole gist i obviously know how this book is gonna end so i'm ready to cry all over again if you read this book let me know your thoughts on it the next book i have is you probably saw it as i was grabbing it but live on the brain by ali hazelwood i read the love hypothesis by her absolutely loved it pretty sure it's a five star read for me but this book is about levi and uh, b and not really sure like kind of the tropes involved with this book but i'm so excited to read this like it's not even funny like i know her books are like very like stem related so that's really fun to read about because i'm not in that world at all i'm actually a marketing major so i'm in the business world so i know nothing about the sciences and math and all that stuff so i really like reading about this yeah like i said i literally have not read the back of this book once the top little line 
at the back of the book says Bee's theory was right forcing a scientist to work with her nemesis <laughs> triggers explosive results results now the next three books i have i'm going to kind of talk about at once because they all go together it's technically two different series but you kind of read them intertwined and that is addicted for now kiss the sky and hot house flower if you are really in book talk and booktube you know all about this series i read the first two books um addicted to you which i gave five star and then ricochet which i gave a four either a four or four point five i was gonna continue reading it but i just stopped and moved to some other books for some reason which i don't know why um because they were so good i should have just continued but so addicted for now follows continues following Lily and Lo like the first two books and these are part of the Addicted series and these two are part of the Callaway Sisters series but like I said for the, like the best reading experience you kind of read them intertwined so after I finish this book with Lily and Lo I'll move into Kiss the Sky which is about Rose and Connor which Rose is Lily's sister and then in Hot House Flower I read about Daisy and Reich and Daisy is Lily and Rose little sister so that's how like it all connects and these are like not all the books I have to read for the series there's like five more books I have left. so now for the next couple of books I'm going to talk about we're going to kind of get into more of like the fantasy and dystopian book I have on my TBR so the first I have is Babel by R.F. Kwong again not too familiar about this this is way out of my comfort zone because I read mostly like fantasy and romance but like that's the point like I want to dwell into different genres because I know I don't just like those but I just haven't ventured into those yet so I finally am this book takes place in 1828 I know it's like something about a translator and like this book touches on like Colin organization and racism and stuff like that I just have heard really good things like only good things I am a little scared because again it is like way out of my comfort zone and I'm sure the writing is going to be a little bit more better <laughs> than what I'm used to not like better but you know a little bit more complex than I'm used to but I'm up for a challenge this definitely will be in some type of vlog so you guys can see my thoughts about this if you've read it let me know all about it what you like about it and then next i have a fantasy duology and that is legend born so the first book is called legend born and then the second is blood mark they are like two different sizes like this is a paperback and then i got blood mark which is the second book and i got this for christmas and it is actually a signed copy so that's really cool so this book is about brie matthews what i know about it is her mother died and she is like really smart she goes to like this program at unc chapel hill for like um bright high schoolers and then she sees a magical attack on her very first night of campus and then a secret society of so-called legend-born stu students will like hunt the creature down so i guess she becomes like part of that society she recruits a guy named nick to like help her out oh wait she actually doesn't become part of the group because <laughs> it says she recruits nick a self-exiled legend born with his own grudge against the group Mm, interesting as you can tell this is my first time reading the back of like all these books for the first time in a very long time yeah it sounds really good and i think there's a little bit of romance and then black main character of course i'm gonna read and then next i have a lot of books because it's part of a big series but i'm gonna like show you guys all the books at once but then probably just hold up the first book while i talk about it so as you can see the next couple of books are all the books and novellas part of the shatter me series another very very hyped up book on book talk and booktube i see a lot of love and hate for this series so i'm really excited here's shatter me and plus they're like really short so i'm like okay even if i do end up not liking them and kind of like hate reading them at least they're short books and it will be a fun hate read maybe but i don't think i'm gonna hate that i think i'm actually really gonna love this series but what i know about this book is the main character juliet she has a lethal touch like or something like that which i feel like i read like a similar concept to this in the michael vay series i read that like a long time ago like in middle school or elementary school so if you know what i'm talking about comment down below because i feel like no one knows that that series when i talk about it only like made it to like the third book i kind of like read it again so if you know what i'm talking about comment down below but anyways so that's why i'm like okay if i like that book series and it's like the same premise of this then like i'm gonna absolutely love this book series yeah and then like her like there's some love triangle in this which i'm all for so, like i said i'm getting the full experience like i got, bought the novellas and everything and i do have the reading order 
save them on my phone so I know what order to read everything in so I'm super excited if you need the reading order comment down below and I will reply it to you and then we're going back to fantasy real quick and with A Court of Thorn and Roses by Sarah J Mass. I just have the first book honestly I'm not sure when I'm gonna get to this series because I just have this one book while like every other series I have I have like the full thing or most of it so who knows when I'll get to this book this book has a lot of hype the cover absolutely love this book is about Feyre I believe that's how you pronounce it and she's a huntress and she kills a wolf and she like gets in trouble by that I'm pretty sure by the Fey world and they like take her or something and then next I have another book that's kind of like more out of my comfort zone but it just sounded really good and I just honestly just love the aesthetic of the book but it's The Secret History by Donna Tartt well first of all I thought this book was made more recently but I think it was made in like the 90s the 70s i don't know i'll put the correct year on the screen because i don't want to like spread false information but I, yeah i thought it was like may like in like 2013 or something i do not know why it just gave that vibe but i know it's about like a group of kids and that's pretty much it honestly what drew me into this book is i heard that it's like really big on found family hopefully tiktok did not market that to me the wrong way because I am a sucker for the found family trope like I love the found family trope so that's why I was really intrigued to start this yeah the font you guys super small but like can we just acknowledge this beautiful cover so pretty and it's like so floppy I love it it's just so aesthetically pretty like I will read this out in public because I would just look so smart like this is definitely a book I'm like I'm reading this summer and then the next book is like a mystery thriller book but it is the southern book club's guide to slaying vampires first of all i love the cover definitely reading this this summer i'm obsessed with this little like page right here oh the book is also by grady hendrix by the way i honestly haven't seen like too many people really talk about this on the internet but i'll read the quick little blurb for it but it says patricia campbell's life has never felt smaller her husband is a workaholic her teenage kids have their own lives her senile mother-in-law needs constant care and she's always a step behind on her endless to-do list the only thing keeping her sane is her book club a close-knit group of charleston women united by their love of true crime then james harris walks into her life during the summer of 1993 he makes her feel things she hasn't felt in years but when children on the other side of town go missing patricia wonders if he's connected is he a brad pitt a bundy or something much worse so the next book we have is the dead poet society it is like so freaking tiny but oh my gosh this seems like so random based off like every other book i showed but i watched this movie winter break of my freshman year of college and i was obsessed i watched the movie so many times since then which is really surprising because i don't really like sad movies and this movie is like somewhat sad like if you know you know but just like the found family aspect of the boys friendship in this movie was just so like I just loved it so much and just kind of like the whole message behind this book. I so the next book I'm going to talk about is Every Summer Out There by Carly Fortune. This is like the ultimate summer book so I'm definitely going to read this sometime this summer plus it's like really short. I'm pretty sure it's like very similar to Love and Other Words from what I heard and I like thought that book was okay. I think I gave it like a three stars. So we'll see if I think I like this better than, th than that one and I think it's the classic like they were childhood best friends. It happened they don't talk. So many summers have past and then finally they reconnect and you figure out like what happened to cause them not to connect and stuff like the little like top line of this book says six summers to fall in love one moment to fall apart a weekend to get it right and then the next book i have is a memoir this is probably one that you've seen all over the place and that is everything i know about love by dolly alderton i haven't read a memoir since getting back into reading honestly i don't think i've really read a memoir ever but again i've heard great things about this i think it touches like a lot about like female friendship and my friendships are something that like i hold close to my heart so i'm really excited to see what she has to say about female friendships and all the things she's learned over the years we'll see what i think when i get to this but i'm really open-minded to see what she has to say then the next two books i have are some romance books and these are part of a trilogy the brown sisters trilogy and that is take a hint danny brown and actor age eve brown i can't remember which is the second book i think this is the next book i'll read 
I read the first book a while ago and I didn't like it which is like a very like popular opinion like a lot of people like don't really love the first book but then love these two books um but I just have not gotten to it but I'm like okay like it is time I need to get back into these books this book is about Eve and Jacob and then this is about Danica I think she just goes by Danny though yeah Danny and Zafir or but he just goes by Zaf and then next I'm gonna kind of show you like this trilogy and duology together because like they're part of like the same universe I believe but the next books on my TBR are the Shadow and Bone trilogy in the six of crows duology so starting with shadow and bone we obviously have oh hold on here out of order so for the shadow and bone trilogy we have shadow and bone siege and storm and ruin and rising honestly don't know what these books are about but the show is really popular on netflix and i want to read these before i watch the show yeah i just know it's about alina and something about like a dark forest is trying to take over or something and i want to read it before i read this duology which is six of crows which is also the six of crows and create heed them which from what i've heard you don't have to read the trilogy before this but i just personally want to like if you tell me i don't have to i'm still gonna do it i don't know in my brain i just have to do it i think it's just so you like understand the universe better but i think it's like two completely different like plot lines but i'm pretty sure like in the shadow and bone series on netflix they kind of like take the material of these books and just kind of like intertwine it all together kind of heard like really conflicting views about the shadow and bone trilogy but i've heard nothing but great things about this duology like now we are down to the last three books on my physical tbr and they are all part of the same trilogy and that is the good girl's guide to murder trilogy i love a good mystery book and i've heard nothing but great things about this trilogy as well so i need to get on to it but basically the first book is a good girl's guide to murder the second book is good girl bad blood and the third book is as good as dead um i'm not gonna get into like what these two books are about so i'll just kind of like give you guys like what i know about this book but it's about pippa and she's a senior in high school yeah we know yeah she's a senior in high school for a class project she has to like cover a case and like as she's going through it i think like stuff isn't adding up and she's kind of re-examining it um and i think she has like a love interest in this as well and i heard like the books get like really dark as you go on so i'm like oh say less and these for sure will be a reading vlog so those are all the books on my physical tbr and make sure you comment like and subscribe if you have anything you want to say about any of these books no spoiling feel free to comment and if you want to see me anywhere else outside of my videos all of my socials are always linked down below but i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and happy reading bye